there, the Geeky Minecrafter here, and today I'm going to restart the series. Um, I had started one a, a few videos ago, and frankly the first few videos were more about what not to do than what to do. So uh, I'm going to restart. In fact, let's get rid of this one. This was just... nope, nope, nope. We're going to create a brand new world. We are going to name it... Um, how about uh, the Geeky Minecrafter? I'll give you the uh, seed after we've, uh, oops, hold on, didn't mean to change that. Give you the seed after uh, we've gone a ways in this world. I don't want anybody sneaking in and taking a peek and telling me what's going on. So I'm building brand new world. Oh, landed right here. Let's, let's mark where I'm at. Um, okay. Let's see what we've got to work with. It's going to lag here for a minute while it renders the world. Uh, I'm not seeing... Okay, um... Uh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's grab a couple of these. I'm just going to kind of use this to mark where I was. I'll come back to this. Uh, I'll show you why I want to mark that later. Um, so let's take stock. I've got uh, a couple things I'm going to have to do to survive the night. I need a few tools. I need a sword, an axe. Uh, a couple of torches would be nice. Um, and I need to build a hobbit hole or a house. Uh, goodness. That could be a little bit scary right there, but I see coal right there. Do I risk it? There's quite a bit of coal right there, so I need a tree. I need to be able to pull this uh, this coal out. Coal will give me torches. Torches will help me survive the night. I've got a couple of trees right up here, so let's go get those. Now, if I stop talking and speed this up, you'll know that uh, I'm trying to cut out some of the really, really boring parts. Uh, watching somebody punch a tree, well, <laughs> frankly, that can be a little bit boring. So, basically, the object in Minecraft is to go mining, to go gather the resources you need to survive, and uh, you're, you're starting with nothing. So, the first thing you got to do is go punch a tree. We're going to create a crafting table out of that. That's one of the uh, in-game features that will help you um, survive. So, I actually want a little bit more wood than this. Um, I want to grab what I need before I stop and do a lot of things, uh, and, and a little bit more wood will help with that. It'd be easier to grab wood if I had an axe, but I need wood to build an axe, so yeah, it's kind of the chicken or the egg. Okay, that's a little bit of wood. That'll that'll work. I know we just found some. Um, some ore right over here, some coal, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, probably put my hobbit hole right over there, so you know what, let's, let's do that, let's, um, oops, again, more what not to do than what to do, so let's grab our inventory, let's pick up the wood and drop it in here, that's going to give us some oak planks, now I'm on the PC, so that means I, um, pick it up with the left click, and I right click to drop something. So I'm going to drop a few in here, give myself um, a few sticks. Sticks are going to help me make tools. And I need some oak planks to make a crafting table. Let's take a peek around. Here's somebody walking up on me. It's just the cow. So let's go ahead and put these planks in here. Build us a crafting table. Crafting table will allow us to craft tools out of what out of what we've got the material we've collected so far so I have some torch I'm sorry I have some uh, wood blocks this gets me a pick this will let me dig into the side of the mountain I also need a axe so an axe is this configuration so between an axe and a pick I should be able to get what I need I also need some uh, coal so I'm going to go grab that right now with my pickaxe. Um, where was that 
pole. Was that right over here? No? Oh, goodness. I should have marked where we were. What, shouldn't I? Oh, my. I see. I know you're probably looking around saying, Snay, it's back there. Go back there. Oh, here we go. This will do. Oops, wrong tool. Now, in Minecraft, you'll learn that it is about the right tool for the job. If you're using... Oof. If you're using an axe on uh, dirt, it's going to dull the axe. It's going to ruin the, the tool. And since um, you, you only have a finite set of resources, you want to make sure you use it the most efficient way you can. Now, right now I'm kind of at a loss. I, I need to use what I have to get this coal out of here. Um, I, don't, I haven't created a shovel yet, so I'm going to work with this. Uh, I do have... Oh, look, here's another piece. I do have a limited amount of time. In Minecraft, the day lasts about, frankly, about 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes you go through a day, every 10 minutes you go through a night. Uh, now, those nights can seem really long if you've got the creepy crawlies right outside your door trying to get in. Let me just look around make sure. You know what? I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to grab this piece, and I'm going to get out of here and go build some torches. Build my hobbit hole. My reason for doing this is, again, night comes really, really fast, and I don't want to be stuck out here in the dark with no way to uh, protect myself. So I'm going to go make some torches, build my hobbit hole, and then I can take a few minutes and go gather some resources. So 16 torches is plenty for right now. That'll get me started. Uh, I can build more if I need to. This cow would just really like to become my dinner, so I'm going to let him. Come here, come here. Now, cows and pigs are what we eat. That's steak and, and bacon, you know, that's, that's good stuff. There are ways in the game to uh, bake potatoes and bake bread, but... Right now, meat is a plentiful resource, so I'm going to pick a little bit of this up, and I'm going to use it to uh, sustain me. Now, let's see, I want kind of a, a flat face, pretty close to these trees. You know, I'm thinking right here is good. I'm just going to build a hobbit hole. We're just going to go right straight into the wall. We're going to put a couple of torches up. I'm going to move my crafting table in here. And we are going to use the night time, our first night time, to put together some resources. Now I'm going to drop a torch in here. I'm going to come back out and grab my crafting table. Now again, a crafting table is made of wood. The right tool for that job is an axe. So I'm going to break it down with an axe. And I'm going to carry it in my hidey hole right here. Sorry about that. Looks like my backup wanted to kick off the same time I'm trying to play the game. Okay, so I am going to put a couple pieces of dirt right in front of my uh, door here. This will prevent anybody from being able to get in and come in after me. Um, now the skeleton, if he's on the same level as the hole, he'll be able to shoot in. Uh, and I'm going to want to you know, fill that in with... Uh, a door as soon as possible, but for right now, just gonna live with this little hidey hole. Uh, pull me out a little bit of space to work. I need a little bit of this stone to improve my tools. Now, everything in Minecraft has a durability. Wood is obviously less durable than stone. See, I've already lost, um, already lost that tool. So I'm gonna put my crafting table down right here and I'm going to craft myself a new tool. This time I'm going to use stone. Stone is more effective and will last longer than wood. Now it also has a durability um, that I'm going to want to, you know, I'm going to want to upgrade my tool and frankly um, I think diamond is the hardest although obsidian, you know, is probably a close second. Uh, so I'm, see how much more uh, quickly it knocks out this uh, this material, so it's important you don't move off of it before you actually break the material. So as you can see, I'm just knocking a hole out here. Oh, 
Did I just discover? Oh, I just discovered a back door, which I'm not going to want to leave there. Oh, that's sand. Now, sand obeys the laws of physics. Dirt does not. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right there. That's going to protect me from anybody trying to come in this direction. This hole is going to protect me from anybody coming in this direction. So while I have a moment, I'm going to craft a sword. Oops. Sword is this configuration. I'm sorry, I'm still learning the PC uh, keystrokes. It's a lot easier, for me, it's a lot easier on the PS3, which is where I learned to play Minecraft. Um, oh, let's also, while we're here, let's go ahead and make a furnace. Now, with a furnace, I can cook these steaks. I can uh, burn wood. Good grief. See, what I tell you? It's more about what not to do than what to do. So, I'm a newbie, just like you, which means uh, we'll be learning together. So if I put a little bit of coal there, and I put my meat right up here, what's going to happen is it's going to cook that meat and give me something I can eat to sustain myself. I'm also going to need to cook that beef. So saplings I'm going to hang on to because we can plant those later. Seeds I'm going to hang on to because, again, we can uh, plant those to make wheat. Uh, with wheat I can make bread. Um, and I can also attract... Cows and sheep, sheep and cows like uh, like wheat. Um, chickens like seeds. So these seeds, if I carry them around in my hand, the chickens will want to follow me. Um, pigs are real fond of carrots. So if you walk around with a carrot in your hand, the pigs will follow you. The idea behind this is we can use this to help us capture uh, animals that we can put on a farm and we can cultivate. We can. You know, I, I hate to say mine the animals, but that's basically what we're doing. Uh, we're going to be going looking for resources, diamonds, lapis, redstone. All of these things help power our world, help, help us survive. So that's it. We have everything we need to survive the first night. Uh, let's close my furnace and go take a look. Uh, it is getting nighttime out there, and with nighttime, the googlies come out. The googlies are the, the scary creatures, the spiders and the... Uh, skeletons and the let's see creepers creepers will creep up on you and blow up and that's never a good thing so as a matter of fact you know what I don't want them to know I'm here I'm just gonna drop another one of those in there now what I like to do is mark my exit um, sometimes you know you'll get in here and you'll get busy you'll be mining you'll be doing different things and you might forget which direction was out so I always like to mark it on dirt with a torch and that tells me that's out so while I'm waiting for the night time to, um, to dissipate, I can spend a few minutes gathering a few more resources. Now, I don't have a lot of room, and because I have water right behind me, I can't go uh, backwards. I can go side to side, but I'm in, a, I'm in a little hilltop, and I don't have a lot of room to work with. So I may just, you know, go in, uh, organize my... Uh, organize myself, get uh, get the tools that I need, the food that I need uh, to survive the night. Now I've got enough to make a few more torches. I've got 14, but that's enough to get started. Now something you need to know about the furnace, if you put wood in the top, this is your output, I'm sorry, your input. This is my fuel source, this is my input, and this is my output. So if I put a single piece of charcoal in there, I can cook up to eight items and wood becomes charcoal. Now coal is uh, uh, pretty efficient, but charcoal is almost as efficient. One piece of charcoal will burn eight units as well. So charcoal, in the event you can't find any coal, is just as good for making torches. Now on your crafting table in um, on the PC, it's a little bit different. On, on the gaming consoles, you open the crafting table and it just automatically lets you select what you want. On the crafting table in the PC, you have to n know the order that things go in. For example, I know that this is uh, an axe. If I do that, that's the basic shape of an axe, and that will give me a stone axe. Now I'm going to use this wood one up until it's gone, but then I can switch to the stone one, which is much more efficient. Um, the pickaxe is three across with two sticks for handles down below. So that's my stone pickaxe. The sword, if you'll remember, was two stone and a stick. 
I, I can also make a hoe, which I'm not going to do yet, but if it's two like this and two sticks. See, that gives me a hoe. Now, again, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, the other tool I can make, let's see, there's, oh, a shovel. And I do want a shovel because shovel moves quickly through dirt and sand. Again, it's the right tool for the job. So I like to keep myself organized. I like my hot bar in this order. I like my stone sword right here handy uh, because if I'm running around outside and I encounter the googlies, the scary people, I want to be able to protect myself. I'm going to use the pick the most often. Axe is probably my second most used tool because I'm going to be harvesting a lot of wood. You need a lot of wood in this game. Dirt and sand, um, dirt for scaffolding, sand to make glass, uh, those are all picked up with the shovel. I am going to keep the dirt because, again, it's like scaffolding. When you're out wandering around and you need to reach something, you can throw a little bit of dirt down and you'll be able to pick something up. Let me show you what I mean. This is, this is kind of a neat little, little methodology. Oh, I can't go too tall. See, right now I, I can't jump because I, uh, I would hit my head. But if I look down, where'd my dirt go here? Let's put this back here. I can only do this once, but if I jump and put dirt down at the same time, I'm now standing on that dirt. If I jump again and put dirt down again, I'm, I'm on top of the dirt. So this is something that uh, people that play the game call a nerd pole. Uh, I call it a beacon. This is what I use to mark areas that are important to me that I want to come back to. I just build a, 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 stone, or a dirt beacon up. I build it too wide. I go all the way to the top. I put a torch on the, on the very tippy top. And then I use the shovel to dig myself back down on, on only one side. And in that way, I'm able to build a, a man-made structure that's really tall that lets me find things in the dark or from great distances. So that's it. We've survived our first night. Um, it's it's probably still night out there. Let's let's go pick up my torch and see. Yeah, it's, it's still night out there. And I'm not going to run around out there because the googlies are out there. But I've done everything I need to do to survive the night. Now, I will wait till morning. I'm going to leave that uncapped uh, so I can look out. I'm going to kind of stay out of their way so they can't see me. They are attracted to me. So stay out of the way so they can't see you. And when it's daylight, I'll knock a hole in that uh, my entrance, and I'll head out and start gathering more materials. So we'll pick this video up with day two as soon as it's daylight outside. Till then, happy mining. I hope you enjoy this series. And if you do, let me know down below in the comments or by liking or subscribing to the channel. Okay, till next time, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing off.